Labor comes under pressure to provide more detail on its tax plans. The details aren't coming yet. However, the party's leader has once again said Labor retains the right to introduce a capital gains tax in its first term of government. Jacinda Ardern would not rule out such a tax applying to a farm or a business, but was clear that it would not cover the family home. How money will be spent or collected is very much under the spotlight at present, not only because that's the staple diet of election campaigns, but also because Treasury opens the government's books tomorrow. Here's our Deputy Political Editor, Chris Bramwell. Now's the time we've been Labour's leader Jacinda Ardern launched her party's new ad campaign in Auckland today. The result of some long nights for the ad agency involved, given the tight turnaround. An opportunity to build a better, fairer future for New Zealand. But the questions for Ms Ardern after the launch were mostly tax related. She has taken a different position from the former leader Andrew Little on whether her party would introduce a capital gains tax after the election. Mr Little wanted to take any recommendations out of a tax working group to the electorate at 2020, but not so Jacinda Ardern. What I'm making clear is I want the ability to act on those recommendations when we're in government. So I will be using that prerogative because I expect New Zealanders will want me to show leadership on that issue. Jacinda Ardern has flatly ruled out a capital gains tax applying to the family home, but is kicking everything else to touch. Beyond that, we actually don't know if a working group would even recommend uh, going down the track of a capital gains tax, so I don't want to predetermine or prejudge what they might recommend. Asked whether Labour would introduce a top tax rate for very high income earners, Jacinda Ardern says her party needs to wait until it knows how the government's books look when they're opened tomorrow. I do want to take a bit of time to look at the prefu once it comes out tomorrow. We'll move as quickly as we can, but certainly we'll be giving an indication of voters for our direction of travel well before election day. You know, this national measurement system is going to the councils. At the standard campaign trail fair for the National Party leader Bill English today, as he and his entourage donned the high vis and visited pack houses in Pukekohe and Katikati. And keeping with the pack house theme, Mr English announced a repackaged policy to expand New Zealand's trade access. He also told media Jacinda Ardern needs to give the public a clear idea of what Labour has planned. This is a serious business. There's an election in five weeks' time. Uh, people's livelihoods are at stake, their household incomes are at stake, their jobs are at stake. They deserve to know how much the taxes is going to be, the water tax, what the details of the capital gains tax are going to be, because it sounds like there's almost certainly going to be one. Bill English says he expects the opening of the books tomorrow to reflect sound financial management. The economy's on a good track, the government's books are sound, uh, we've got positive choices and we're making them, like yesterday announcing you know, 600,000 more people will have access to lower cost GP visits. Meanwhile the Green Party has lost two of its senior staff with its Chief of Staff and Political Director resigning after the turmoil around the resignation of the co-leader Mia Ture. At the time many MPs and commentators questioned the advice Mrs Ture was receiving and RNZ understands the staff departures have come as a result. Kei Tāmaki Makoto mō te hōtaka o te ahi nei, ko Chris Bramalahau. We invited James Shaw onto the programme tonight, but he declined our invitation to be interviewed.